In this activity, there are seven islands controlled by pirates. The islands are spread around the playground. A student at each island provides a choice of two ships to take you to another island. The goal is to find a way to Treasure Island. Unfortunately, the maps supplied don't show the ship's routes, so participants need to find out for themselves the ways between the islands. They go to an island and ask for ship A or B, which will send them to the next island. Please have an A. Shipwreck Bay. Next. Each student gradually builds up a map of the connections. Eventually they will find a path to Treasure Island. The kind of maps that the children are drawing have many applications in computer science. For example, they can represent the states of an interface. This watch is showing the time, but if you press button A, it will change to a stopwatch. Pressing button B will start the stopwatch. Pressing it again stops it. Pressing button A now takes the watch into accounting mode. And three more presses gets us back to the original time display. We could draw a map of this in the same way as the pirate's map in the activity, and it would provide instructions on how to use the watch. For more information about how this kind of map is used in computer science, see the Treasure Hunt activity on the CS Unplugged website.